Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I want you to just look at this crepe myrtle tree right here behind me. Notice how it's got uh, a bunch of black on it. It's actually, it's a black mold. It can be scratched off, it can be dusted off. Sometimes if it's been there for a while, it'll actually stain the tree and it'll be there for a little while. What that is, is it, it's, it's a, it is a mildew, it's a mold. It's growing on the byproduct of scale. So scale is these little bugs that live in the trees. This tree right here is obviously, it's had it for a while and it hasn't been treated. So uh, this is actually a, a little bit of staining and active mildew, but uh, usually around uh, April-ish and in May, the scales start getting really active. It's called an armored scale. They're gonna start sucking on the uh, sap of the tree. Uh, they, they live in the bark and the cracks and the crevices and underneath some of the uh, the, the, the peels that sl kind of slough off of your trees. They hide but anyway these scales they live in the tree they feed on the tree they do their business and their bu uh, when, whenever they, they do that it's called honeydew well that sticky substance that's the honeydew that's their byproduct that's what the mold grows on so that's what most people are seeing and that's when they think they've got a problem the the, the key and the answer to all of it is, is if you kill the scale you fix all the other problems now in in this case these uh these knockout roses are, are freshly growing and the scale aren't as active right now so you can't see it but look and, and you'll notice that a lot of times the shrubs right underneath the canopy of the tree they're gonna have that black mildew on it as well and there again it's because the bugs are in the tree their byproducts hitting the shrubs uh, and then the, the the mold and the mildew is growing on top of the byproduct so uh, usually you're gonna need at least two applications to get this handled uh, we suggest doing a uh, spraying it with uh, uh, something that's got a little bit of pressure so that you can really get into the cracks and crevices underneath the leaves use a high quality insecticide treat the tree at least twice preferably every two weeks you're going to get most of the bugs in the first application the second application is kind of a cleanup and then if you want to go that extra mile do down at the base uh, you want to do what's called a soil drench we actually use a deep root injector to where we inject it in the soil but you can mix it up in a bucket and you can just kind of pour it out slowly as well what that does is when you use the uh, the, the proper chemicals and the proper products it's actually absorbed up through the root system and uh, over time it, it, it the, the chemical is inside of the actual tree so what will happen is is that when the bugs for like later down the road when they feed on the tree the chemical is inside of the actual tree so they feed on it and then that'll kill them this is something that you're not going to be able to just treat once or twice and it's going to go away it's an ongoing problem it's an ongoing maintenance problem uh, it's becoming more and more prevalent uh, every year here in our area and, and it's just something that you just gotta have to stay on top of it's not gonna kill the tree immediately you know over time it is gonna do some damage uh, you're not gonna be able to get once the tree's been infected and has a lot of scale on it it's gonna really start to kind of hamper the amount of blooms uh, that, that you're gonna get out of it but uh, anyway just go ahead get an insecticide done make sure you get at least two applications space them out every two weeks you won't be let down uh, and, and you can get ahead of this problem that is uh, wreaking havoc on a lot of people's crepe myrtles. So anyway, if you got any questions, let us know. We look forward to hearing from you.